Let's we'll speed up a touch, take a look at his base, what he got here. Just a couple more warp gates, which makes sense because he has an expansion running now. Uh, even still, he's stockpiling some uh, resources. He should maybe throw down a couple more gateways. And looks like another attack coming in here. Yes, and my ghost is not in my control group, which is not good. So I'm not going to be microing this ghost at all this battle. It's too bad. Get the charge lots down. Let's do these upgrades. We're only 1 0, where I'm at 2 1 right now. Probably not the best idea for him to attack there. I mean, he should have known I had the army size advantage. And now I'm able to come in to counter. Again, putting my force between the Nexus and his escape route just so I can pick off all the probes as they leave. Um, almost all the probes. Looks like two of them made it out. Oh, maybe one. No, that one made it 40 points. I'll just start rallying all my new troops to my expansion. That ghost still sitting there. He'll sit there the entire game, I think. I never really noticed him. Maybe I'll back up just for interest's sake. Yeah. So looking with that down, looks like I was just pulling away now. Some of my force ended up staying behind to kill his refinery. Which actually made him waste a couple uh, storms. I don't think those are his best use of storms. Looks like I only killed one unit. And these will probably get repaired, although my medivacs are kind of dry. These medivacs have definitely uh, been worth their weight in gold this match <laughs> when you're getting stormed this heavily. <laughs> you use up a lot of healing energy. So Protoss is down to one base, and I'm s transferring some SCVs over. I guess mostly from my main, since my main was probably close to dry, yeah. And using my new mules on my newest expansion. And looks like he's setting up a couple hidden expansions. Which is a good idea, I mean he's got the resourcing for it. Tab. Oh wow, big in my advantage. And then, as I learned my mistake against Protoss, it's all about the uh, getting the EMPs down. So I come in, make my scan, bring in some cloak ghosts. Caught a glimpse of these. Um, I suppose we'll back it up a touch. I scan, did catch a glimpse of where is a uh, Templar. Are, so I'm not going to be EMPing these guys. I'm going straight for the Templar. And watch this Templar group. Boom! <laughs> Done. Uh, EMP'd everything. And my ghosts are even killing the Templars. <laughs> Without their shields, it's uh, like almost a one shot. So that's GG. And I wasn't going out to scout too, so I would have. I've already caught one expansion. I would have caught the second one pretty soon as well. Yeah, so this is Kulas Ravine. I guess just to review. Um. I'm not a fan of taking the natural expansion for your planetary, so I would prefer you float up and take the high ground. You can make a second orbital too, because you don't really need planetary per se. You got these rocks defending you, which at least buys you time. Um, make sure you have an SCV on the cell Naga, just so you can spot when he's breaking up. Um, that way, if you haven't broken out these rocks yet, you can bust out your own rocks, just so you can uh, meet him here in time to defend. Uh. What else? Yeah, or you can do your natural at the high yield, which is what I did, and I think I like that idea. Give me a lot of extra resources early. Um, kind of hard to spend it. So, I like not being able to spend my money. That's a good problem to have. And then, yeah, Cloak Ghosts, my new favorite thing in the world versus the, the Templar counter. Whenever they counter with Templar versus... Uh, Whenever they counter with Templar versus uh, my bio, I like to just get the uh, ghosts, get them cloaked, and then really get them in before the fight even begins. You don't want to do it during the fight, you want to just get in there, wipe out all that energy. Dude, now he's got no chance. Absolutely no chance to, to hold off this army. 
And this is Kulas Ravine, my first video on Kulas. Just because, not because I like this map, but just because I hate the other maps. But, you know, 1 0 on this map, so I, not my uh, least favorite map in the world. <laughs> when you got a perfect record, I'm sure I'm going to start hitting it later on, but uh, yeah, we'll find out. Alright. Oh, one other thing. Um, I think what I want to do since the beginning of every video is kind of dry. As I think I'll take that time to kind of answer any questions or any comments people leave. So just leave comments anywhere, like either on my channel or on a video. Um, I read everyone's comments, so if you have any questions, you can throw them there. Obviously, I'm not an encyclopedia of perfect knowledge, so you're just going to be getting my opinion. Um, but I think my opinion can be somewhat good, being a low APM player. Um, other people's answers may only apply to... Um, you know, some with pro level abilities where my answers might be something more simple that you can apply um, at a lower skill level. And yeah, so new videos, I'll be answering those questions during the, you know, first couple of minutes. All right. Thanks, everyone, and goodbye.